Hey y'all, what is going on? So, E3. Yeah, that's no longer gonna be a thing this year, unfortunately. Because, well, E3 is canceled. Yeah, it's not happening. I believe last year it was also not happening. And of course, 2021, it didn't happen. Or maybe they had the digital event. I know that with the 2020 pandemic, when that occurred, of course, it was canceled because, yeah, it's a in-person event. And, of course, you're also able to watch it live. If you're not to, able to go to Los Angeles, go to the convention center and attend the event, which was one of the goals that I wanted to be a part of years ago. But after years, you know, going forward, E3 wasn't just E3 lost its hype to me. It lost its hype. It wasn't exciting to, you know, sit down, watch E3 entirely. Like for, I what it went on for like what three, four days, and there were so many, you know, press conferences. You know, you were you were to look, you know, you would be thrilled to watch Microsoft, PlayStation, Nintendo, Ubisoft, EA, whatever because there were games coming out or soon to be come out or hey here's a little trailer and this game is in development like they would show us trailers of games that are not even coming out this year or maybe the next year probably games that would come out like years years later or games that just never came out at all capcom i'm looking at you a deep down i'm just saying but <laughs> E3 is just it just lost its hype over the years and it sucks because this it used to be a staple event of, of amongst us gamers something that we would always look forward to each and every year it was a goal of ours to at least attend E3 for the very first time but after disappointment after disappointment you would see a game trailer you would get so hyped for it the game comes out and it is completely dog shit hello anthem division one yeah so i'm gonna go ahead and dive down into this article from the ignorant gamers network or as i like to call them ign and i'll just read off almost a year after announcing its return the electronic software association announced today to its members that this year's electronic entertainment expo e3 has been canceled ign can confirm two sources have confirmed to ign that the organization announced the cancellation via email sent out its members today the email said that while e3 remains a beloved event and brand that 2023 version simply did not garner the sustained interest necessary to execute in it it in a way that it would showcase the size strength and impact of our industry the ESA concludes the email by reiterating its commitment to advocacy work. It does not mention undertaking the show again in future years. And this is, of course, following the announcement of E3's return for this year was announced last June alongside the confirmation that E3 2022 has been canceled. Yeah, last year it was canceled. The news comes as multiple big names in the industry from Xbox, Nintendo, PlayStation, and more recently Ubisoft announced it would not be attending E3 in any capacity, with most opting to host its own digital showcase. Yeah, that's the thing I would say that killed their momentum. Yeah, because why spend the money to host your event or host your press conference at a venue that you're going to, of course, have to pay for space? You're also going to have to pay for other things. And then, of course, boom, you have the event. Granted, it's great for us gamers to spend the money, go out to Los Angeles and attend E3 in person because that was the goal. Now, not so much because with the companies, Xbox, Nintendo, PlayStation and, and Ubisoft, they can just have their own digital event because it's in-house. It doesn't cost them a lot of money. They don't have to worry about moving a lot of stuff and shipping. So it's just like 
in a way it saves them money but it doesn't benefit e3 if e3 wanted to have their event this would be a great time to show off indie games yeah yeah show off some indie games or indie developers but you know, they're not going to bring in a lot of money and they're not going to bring in a lot of interest. Granted, E3 has such a huge name. I highly doubt that they would go that route. It'd be interesting, but I, again, highly doubt it. But this is, it's on E3 because over the years, getting hype for game trailers have gotten down because, as I said earlier, they will show off a trailer. It will look cool. And then you get the game and you're just like, what the hell? How many times have we been finessed over visuals or game demonstrations of, a, of said game? You play the game and it's not what it was when you saw it at the E3 press conference. We've been burned a good couple of times and we're not trying to get burned again. So it sucks. E3. I mean... I think there's I think E3 is dead after last year and then of course this year I don't think E3 is ever coming back and it used as I said it used to be a huge staple in the gaming community throughout the years and it sucks that it's it's dead E3 is dead the show's over it's time for us to move on so anyway y'all let me know in the comment section below what are your thoughts should E3 come back or should E3 just Stay dead. Let's talk about it. Anyway, y'all, stay classy.